let me throw my theory out, and it's just a theory. I don't really believe it, but I like thinking about it. What if UFOs looked like those pyramids and fucking UFOs landed for a little while and gave them all their advanced technology and gave them all the crazy shit and then flew off? And so, so, <laughs> You're so, just going deep into the what-if drawer. So, yeah, this is deep in the what-if <laughs> drawer. This is way underneath a lot of other what-ifs. But, like, so if you think about it, those fucking pyramids kind of look like they could be spaceships. Like, whenever I think of spaceships, I think, why wouldn't it look like a pyramid? It could be a pyramid. So maybe it's or maybe fucking they were visited by advanced intelligence that looked like those pyramids. But still, in. still, the problem with the pyramids is not that. The problem with the pyramids is the incredible mathematical uh, uh, equations that are required to create something so perfect. There's two million three hundred thousand stones yeah. in the pyramid, the, the Great Giza pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Giza. That's yeah. A, the, the, the two mil Think about how many fucking stones that is. It's a lot of stones. They weighed between two and eighty tons, and some of them, the ones from the King's Chamber, were cut from a quarry that was like five hundred miles right. away. I mean, it's amazing, man. And they're 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 perfectly put in place. You ever seen the King's Chamber? You know, we're yeah. the, in, the, in the Great Pyramid. It's yeah. insane. They don't have any idea how they built it. They have no idea how they got these incredibly large stones cut so perfectly yeah. and so smooth. And they found, literally, they found bore marks in the sarcophagus that yeah. is from a diamond bit drill. Right. So it's like shit that we have today. What's, like somehow wait, or another. Wait. What's that called? I'm sorry to cut you off. That Just because it's another fascinating aspect of the stuff you're talking about, which is shit. There's a name for this kind of archaeology where people will find... Cryptos? Like, no. Crypt, it's is like you'll it find batteries. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or you'll find... Yeah, I'm thinking of cryptozoology. But yeah, no. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You'll yeah. find like a uh, something that there's no way that it, it should exist back then. It almost indicates time travel or well, something. Well, you, have you ever... Well, not, not time travel, but have you ever looked into Graham Hancock? Have you ever read any of his stuff? No, I know that... I want to give you Fingerprints of the Gods before you leave. It's one of my favorite books. And this guy, Graham Hancock, is an archaeologist and... He traveled all over the world looking at all these ancient civilizations and ancient structures and studied all the, the different, you know, uh, the um, different uh, cataclysmic event um, stories that every single religion seems to have that are in the yeah. Epic of Gilgamesh and in the Bible. And what he believes is that somewhere around 10,000 years ago, there was some event on Earth. And there was a super advanced civilization that existed before that. Yeah. And we have been around a lot longer than we think. And that what, what the pyramids are literally is people rediscovering some shit that a super super advanced civilization that had right. been reset many thousands of years ago what, what what we see like when you see like the great pyramid and the the sphinx and all these things that they can't explain the sphinx enclosure what we see is the proof that there was some sort of a super advanced civilization many 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 thousands of years before where the right. archaeologists currently date to be, you know, the time they built the pyramids. And there's a guy named John Anthony West that has dedicated his entire life to trying to let people uh, look at Egypt in a different way, and and he believes that the Egyptian, uh, the 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 drawings, the depictions of pharaohs, mm -hmm. they go back over 34,000 years. But for whatever reason, conventional Egyptologists are unwilling to look at that kind of evidence. They don't want to look at anything that makes it seem like everything is all fucked up and there was some sort of an event that hasn't been documented and the people that we think of as Egyptians maybe never even built this in the first place. They might have right. been like the people that moved into all this shit. And, you know, it's like this conversation we're having about the pyramid, yeah. the Egyptians were having it too. I'm sure. Like, what yeah. the fuck is that? Right, right. Where How did this shit come make from? That? Exactly. People have been saying that for a exactly. long time. Exactly. We we found it like second hand. They found it first and well this guy Graham Hancock has traveled all over the world taking all this this footage of these in, incredible structures that people have made that map out the cosmos that m m match constellations yeah. and all these the different Pleiades. societies yeah like Machu you know Machu Picchu the, like that fucking thing like you can how the fuck they don't even know how anybody got anything up there yeah. they're like these guys got these giant fucking stones up there where there's no air and they built these incredible structures many 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 thousands of years ago like they have no idea when and they think that it might have even been 
been at a time where water was up there. Like, it's, it's, it's fucking nutty, man, when, when you really find out how much of these ancient structures and ancient, uh, ancient civilizations, how much evidence there is for it. But when they start bringing this stuff up, stuff up to conventional archaeologists, they always say, well, where's the evidence for these cultures? Like, that's what they said about John Anthony West when they brought up the water erosion marks on the Sphinx. Are you, you familiar yeah, with all that? that? The water erosion on the Sphinx is due to thousands of years of rainfall. The problem with that is the last time there was rainfall in the Nile Valley, it was like 7,000 B.C. Yeah. So that, that puts it like way, way, way outdates it, way past what we think of as Egyptian civilization. Egyptian civilization we think of around like 2,000, 3,000 B.C. They're, they're talking like 7,000, 4,000 years earlier than that. You know what I mean? I mean, this is pretty incredible shit. So the, these, these guys have discovered all these different things that point to the fact that it's much more likely that there was a far older civilization that disappeared. And so the uh, archaeologists are all like, well, where's the evidence for this civilization? What, it's fucking right there. What else is going to be left? What else is going to be left after 10,000 years, man? You're going to get some stone. That's yeah. it. A car would dissolve into the earth. A building yeah. would fall apart and crumble. You're, everything has to be made out of stone. That's the only shit that's going to survive. Have you seen... The, and you know, well, I want to interrupt sorry. you, but you know when they first found the Sphinx in the... the, the in, I, I forget which fucking pharaoh they attribute it to, to uh, the guy who uh, supposedly they think built the Sphinx. But it's in the, the, the hieroglyphs. It literally says that it, he was told in a dream that if he uncovered the Sphinx, he would go on to rule Egypt. He had to uncover it. You know why? Because it was covered in fucking sand. Right. They, they had to it actively buried. dig it out of the sand. Yeah. It was up to its head in sand. Right. Not only that, the head has been altered. Like They know that the head used to be far larger and was much more likely the head of a lion. And then some pharaoh was like, I don't like that lion. I want my face up there, bitch. And so that's when they, they put his face up there. And more likely, it was one of the African uh, pharaohs because he has a face of a Nubian. The Nubians conquered Egypt in the end of the Egyptian Empire when everything fell to shit. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Nubians conquered, and they, their pharaohs were much more African looking. Yeah, there's a. It's, there's, the point is, what we're both saying is there's. We're older there's, than we way, think. way older. Way this older. Graham Hancock guy is a fucking genius, man. And his, his books are brilliant on this shit. And he has, his wife's a photographer, so he has these incredible photographs of all these different things from all over the world. And it will absolutely convince you that there, at least this should be considered as an option, and it's not right now. Right now, everybody wants to think that everything they've been taught in school and everything they're teaching their students yeah. right now is the information. And it's very difficult to get them to relook at shit. These motherfuckers that won't look at the Sphinx, I mean, that there's water erosion. Every single geologist who looks at that says, this is water erosion from thousands of years of rainfall. And then they have all these other guys that are like, no, it can't be, it's impossible. It's never been a problem for me imagining that we're super, we're super Right, old but species. for them, they've been teaching this shit. They've been teaching Tutmosis III did this at this time, and he yeah. built this pyramid, and, you know, yeah. they don't know, though. That the fucking, I mean, they really don't know. It's it's, it's guesswork. There's a shitload of guesswork. Yeah, that's always really amazing to me when archaeologists get very specific about something that was a really long time ago. And then he said to his troops, you yeah, know, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, How the fuck do you know what he I said? I can barely remember what I ate yesterday for lunch. <laughs> Exactly. Like, how are you fucking? Do, how are you diagnosing this shit? It's impossible. I talk about this when I talk about on stage. When I talk about how little we know about human beings. If I'm in a club that has like 200 people in it, yeah. I'll say, you know, there's 200 of us right here. What we represent, if we lived our entire lives, birth to death, and we added them all together, yeah. we represent 20,000 years. Just us. Right. Just the lives of 200 people. If you add yeah. them all together, birth to death, that's 20 fucking thousand years yeah. that's way more than we know about human history way 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 more yeah. according to like conventional uh teaching or conventional uh thought we, 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 like twenty thousand years ago we were basically cavemen right i mean would we wore animal skins and shit like when they find those frozen dudes how yeah. old are those dudes i have no idea it's like thirty thousand years ago no. they're like wearing skins and shit and throwing spears yeah. with rock tips like that's as good as it got back then Right. 20,000 years, just 200 people 